93 degrees a kickoff, 90% humidity, humidity as Dylan Brown will kick it deep to Trayvon, to Hen Henry Ruggs and Ryan Robin Five playing the Aggies for the first time ever. Big to and that's a pass out to Ruggs, who's got plenty of daylight. First play of the game. How many times have you seen this? 75 yards. For the Crimson Tide. Will Riker, the true freshman, in for the extra point, and just like that. Yesterday, seven. about what they're proud of in the wide receiver room, he didn't bring up route running. He didn't bring up their hands. Jerry Judy just kind of got in the way right there. He talked about blocking and how much pride that they take in the wide receiver room and seeing if they can't get knocked. I believe down. the official score now is going to call that a pass, so we'll take one more look at it. It's Huntley. Watches the kick go into the end zone. New Mexico State, <laughs> Josh Atkins, at quarterback for New Mexico State, and he swings one out to Jason Huntley, and Huntley is met. Last week, felt Atkins could play in their league for sure. Again, the swing out to Huntley, and Huntley gets to the sideline. Put him into a return, man. A third and eight. Atkins barely has enough time, feeling the pressure. Beat the signal caller for the defense in Dylan Moses' absence due to that ACL injury. Peyton Theisler punting to Jalen Waddle. Waddle hasn't put a hand up, so he's coming towards the Aggies on this one with a flag down. He gets to the sideline. Got a cavalry in front of him, and again, a flag down as Waddle will take it all the way to the end zone. Coming back. During the return, block in the back, receiving team number 28. Two-yard penalty, first down. Last week, once the quarter hit number two, no trouble today as they've already have a touchdown. And now Jerry Judy's open in space, staying in bounds, first down, up near the 29. Last week versus Duke, starting at center here today. After the high snap, Najee Harris takes it across. Under center to a faking to Harris. Has to step up with pressure. And he throws a low ball that's dug out by Devontae Smith. And Smith's past midfield. A little bit of pressure. Had to work the pocket. Off balance throw. Look at that hands catch. We asked Devontae Smith yesterday, what's the best part of your game as a receiver? He said, I got great hands. Showed it there. 22 yards on that play. Now quickly to Ruggs. And Ruggs is ahead. I'm not going to coach you on that. We well, don't have to with this receiver, dude. Second and eight, it's Harris straight ahead. Much running room there as he's met. And a third and seven, Tua throws the strike inside the 35-yard line to Devon. What time New Mexico State able to get there? Tua, deep ball. Almost picked off as the closest man to Aberhood where Tua foul. threw it. Targeting number 10 of the defense. The previous play is under review. Wilcots is out for the rest of the game. Watch Wilcots, just a spin move. And big Jedrick Wills at right tackle. Now Let's go back to the student. After back further in. review, there is no foul for targeting. It's second down. Mr. So now a second and 10. And the handoff to Brian Robinson. And Robinson around the left side is it's met out fringe. of bounds. Robinson, the big bruiser. Plows for that should be a first down. By Robinson of picking up the yards needed to convert. The 21, clean pocket for Tua to the end zone, touchdown! Jerry Judy again. Career high in receptions for Jerry Judy, the 10. 14 zip. Looking up once again with one of the top wide receivers in all of college football. Tua to Judy, touchdown Alabama. for the Crimson Tide. And Huntley lets it bounce into the end zone. Christian Gibson in at tailback, and he takes the football and moves up near the 29. Oh, Bama did a great job. Tackle on fourth down in the first quarter. And second and seven, pocket collapsing for Atkins. He gets rid of it. That's a first down throw to Drew Dan. Dan. Comes away with that one. First down and 10, Gibson. He's plays up. great with his hands, with good leverage inside. Comes Bam on the blitz, quick screen to Huntley. And throws the ball. Atkins 
just has to throw it away, and it's fourth down. 6'5", 250. I give him 6'6", 265. I think they're cheap. At this point, he barely gets off the ground for Theisler. Just play some keep away from for a year ago, each having a 1,000-yard receiving season. Cooper had a couple as Harris takes a pass. Said that they feel like they're one of the best secondaries in the country just because of the level of wideouts they go against every day in practice. Couple of Harris runs. It's third and four. And off his back foot, that is an incompletion top in all of college football. And they've all got incorporated in the offense, not necessarily with catches. You think of Devontae Smith with the fingers catch and a nice block earlier as well. That was Skyler DeLong punting. Will Riker did it last week, but DeLong punts here. Cut it by Maryland today. They were ranked 21. Won't be next week. Jason those starters. Second and 12, it's Huntley. And he has no place to go. It's third. Doing a good job of stopping the run early. Atkins throws behind his intended but target. But you also want to hone some of that, how you work with the adjacent linemen, especially on games and twists. Punt away from Waddle again. Good job by Feisler. And this goes inside the 20 yard line. Everybody in the SEC paying attention after what Georgia State did to Tennessee. Two up, just a bit too long. Some opportunity for some of these other conference teams to squeeze to the top 25. To a quick throw to Judy up near the 19 yard line. Other programs. 2007 was a long time ago. Oh, it goes through two receivers and it's almost picked off. Judy forcing back to back punts against this offense to Long with the flag down. It's a much better kick. It's a fair catch on the defense. Team. A five yard penalty will be enforced from the succeeding spot. First down. Two of them share as Atkins is alone in the backfield on the first down. He's trying to run away from DJ Dale and throws it into the sideline. So in 1980, it's really hard to coach Navy players. The problem is, is when you're getting after him, there's a fumble down there. Let's see if Alabama came up with this. It is, it's Alabama's football. I want to be angry. Watch D.J. Dale. It actually looks like he came from the weak side. Dale had him wrapped up, but it looks like, I think it was Xavier McKinney. Backfield made Xavier McKinney. Stolze on his defense in a little bit of trouble now as Harris tries the edge, and he gets up for five yards. Started last week for the Crimson Tide. Harris plowing again ahead to the turnover. And on cue, right up the gut, goes Harris inside the 30. It'll be marked out of bounds. Robinson now in the spell. Najee fake to him, and it's incomplete. Those defenses can take the RPO throws away from him. Robinson, he's got no place to go. He'll lose yardage, and he's back at the end of the quarter. He does. Third and 11 all day. In zone. Touchdown. Guess who? One of the best ever at wide receiver for the Crimson Tide, Jerry Judy, 23 yards. And Reichert makes it 21. Jerry Judy, and this takes a little bit of time, but breaks right in front of the defender's face. Tua with a little bit late delivery, but great placement, keeps it away from the defender. Touchdown, Tide. Tied history now with his 19th touchdown reception, giving the Tide a 21 nothing. I'm sure Kirby Smart is paying close attention. And how about this? Down to the ground. He jumps his count. Look how quickly he's moving before Jalen Guerrero is. That is a winning recipe as a pass rusher. Look at this. And look at the strength. That guy does more damage with 4260. Loss of seven on the play, and Atkins has time. Throws up past the 30-yard line to O.J. Clark. Those third down numbers, the Aggies looking for their first conversion, and they'll try the sideline, and it's Christian Gibson. Secondary leaning downhill. Haven't seen it yet from the Aggies. Will Waddle get a shot? It's going to bounce in front of him, and he's not going to be able to field this one either. So Feisler doing his job playing keep away Penn State, Notre Dame. Homecoming, weaker opponents were played here as Tua 
finds Ruggs, and Ruggs is past midfield, and he's out of bounds inside it's the still no air conditioning? <laughs> a little hot, a little warm today after that big catch from Ruggs. Now Brian Robinson. And base, they're out here cooking to watch this game. 831 win percentage here. Stadium has ever seen. Look at the temperature and what it feels like. 100 to 3 degrees as Robinson's up to the 20. Alyssa, it's nope, got to feel It's just hot. something we've been working on all week long, preparing for the heat out here today. Legal substitution. Offense, number eight in the formation. Five yard penalty. Second down. You know, those things will drive Coach Saban crazy, but they've taken all, taken the play clock all the way down to three. Tua wanted to throw the home run ball. Slings this one down to the sideline. It's incomplete for Judy. Perfectly, in fact. Sure to be broken on this play. Third and 13, and Tunga Bailoa throws the runs, and after the catch, he gets up near the 10 yard line. Defensive player come in as they get inside the five. Won't have to worry about that this time. Just a pitch and catch with Ruggs for his second touchdown. The quarterback time to deliver strikes. Ruggs and Judy are changing the all credit to home and two for all those touchdown catch because the other guys have all played in the last five years. That's right. We were changing the game back then here at Bama. Dari remembers. No, I think he's still on the planet. Is he still somewhere? I've lost track of it. As uh, Christian Gibson, the game of their careers, some of them pressed into action due to injury and dismissal. Is Huntley? Defense. Who couldn't think of the time? And they've got true freshmen that can play. Early. Thirty-five. Alabama was off sides here. It's a free play for Atkins. It's looked like a offside. Defense number seven. That penalty will be declined. Result of the play. The play in the opener. They talk every day, Trayvon said. Catch is made by O.J. Clark. You're nervous first to have three freshmen starting right in the middle of your defense. Pete Golding said those guys are in his office ready to go over his things career. after. Two years ago, coordinating the defense at UT San Antonio. Underneath throw, in stride, catch made. Alabama's almost exclusively been in a dime package. Just one linebacker on the field. 24 is sneaky. It makes it look like he's smaller than he is. That is a big man. One-on-one -on -one incomplete. Shaheem Carter had the best chance. On third and 12, lofts one. Picked off. Patrick Sertan. Going last year. And off to a hot start in 2019. Tied, get the football back here in the second quarter. 1930, Wallace Wade, 34-41, Frank Thomas, 30-14, had Don Hudson. Off consideration at the end of that season. Can you imagine? Second and seven, to a Tunga Bailoa, easy throw to Jalen Waddle, and he gets past the secondary up near midfield. You're all jealous. 29 yards. There's two of them. Showing these wheels off in the first couple of games as Harris makes the catch up to the can beat for the top. Go to Judy. Right near a first down marker. The passing game versus Duke there, dialed in. These first half numbers. As Najee plows forward near that score bug, the bottom of your screen. Dude, it looked that way, nothing was open. He takes off again, and watch this! All the way to the house! 25 yards! State. Evan Neal, a true freshman, watch him. Gets his eyes stuck inside for too long. Bodies around to his feet. He decides to tuck and run. Not a bad option for the Crimson Tide off. Of course, everybody remembers that 44 yard scamper in Baton Rouge. Quickly as some of his other defensive line mates, but he gobbles up space. He about made the tackle to make that. Uh, Adkins. Pocket collapses and so does he. That's LeBron Ray. This contest. Feisler. This is fielded by Waddle, who is standing about 15 yards closer this time. Desperately wanted a shot. Now he's going to go to the other sideline. Now watch out. He's got a cavalry in front of him. And he'll run out of bounds. 
just outside the 30-yard line. Two up. It's incomplete to rushing Jr. leader in the game. 75 yards on that one carry. Two up. Home run ball again. Too far for Terrell. Just took it away from him versus Duke. This one in the line of scrimmage. Just let Judy create. And he gets upended. At the 30 Big yard on this guy, he's got a cannon for a leg, and from 47, he makes his first field goal as a member of the Crimson Tide. 104 to go in the first half. This goes over Huntley. Now, Coach Saban got all huh? five. <laughs> first and 10 run. Goes to Gibson for a couple. I'm going to say seven miles an hour, maybe the average speed, somewhere in there. On that new hip. Yeah, that's right. Rolling here in T-Town in the home opener. Finishing a lot of the dime packages, doing a great job of shutting down what run offense the Aggies have been able to get going. It's been an impressive half of play. And in that first half. And off goes to Huntley, and he's ahead for being an independent program. So difficult as you have to travel all over the country and play some of the best teams. Huntley staying on his feet, still not tackled. Past the 35 yard. First and 10. And that is incomplete. Now they are funding. I'm talking with Doug Martin. He was saying, you know, we need to play games. Dangerous. Especially when you've got. Teams have never met until today. Third and 13. Good throw, but. Catch is not Waddle made. Is Up return man and Trayvon Diggs back deep. This is Diggs waiting for a fair catch, but somebody got in his way and a flag is thrown. So while this is marked down near the 12 yard. Interference with the opportunity to catch a kick. Kicking team number 20. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Out. And here comes Tua to figure out who his best center is too, Brian Robinson. Breaks some tackles initially and is ahead for maybe a yard. Picked up a couple yards. Robinson just past the 50 yard line. How would you assume? He was a highly touted five star tackle. He's gotten both starts at left guard. Well, maybe that's what we end up seeing. Neal to a under center is just going to plow forward. An easy wow. first down for the Crimson Tide. They didn't have to punt it away and gave up a field goal. You want to see those situational blocking, the rundowns. You want those reps. So you saw it there. You get a quick step. Second and seven. Robinson cuts it inside, and he's inside the 30 yard places line. In new places. That's hard to get established. It's a first down run for Robinson with Max. Over 20 for two on the touchdown run. And it's Robinson. It'll be first and goal, Bama. Inside handoff, Najee breaking a tackle and scoring. He doesn't get his hat across. So you see that? Makes Najee Harris. He has to bubble his run just a little bit. You can get away with it. You're faster than everyone on the field, probably. Wow, you're on the screen now. How about that? And appropriately in front and overlaying those yeah. two groups. You can't even really see McElroy and Spears back there. I like it. It was, it was a tough time, but thankfully my mediocre grief counselors in Greg and Marcus sort of talked me through it, but but not really because they should. Especially given that injury to Jake Bentley. Unless Frank fracture in his foot, those things are nasty, take a while. And then Holinsky, a highly regarded recruit as a pocket passer. Drop there by Some Tide fans. Remember what happened there in 2010. Nice pitch and catch across the middle of the field and breaking free is Tony Nicholson. And he's inside the five yard line as Diggs. Hat. Watch this. Run right at you. Boom. Great job. Run after the catch. Tony Nicholson doing a great job getting it down in the red zone. Schools expert in Matt. How about when an umpire gets taken out like this in the middle of a play? Well, now you know exactly why I'm not an umpire. 
Uh, he, he, there's no, he has nowhere to go. The, the play runs right at him. He's, there, there's nothing he can do. Uh, it's unfortunate, but these plays happen, and you just hope that nobody gets ser seriously injured. Wally Huff, I know that you've worked with through the years. Seems like he's okay. They'll try to protect their own goal line. And on the handoff, it's Gibson, and he'll fight ahead to the Quarterback keeper right at Lee and Harris, and they say, no, sir. And an empty backfield, Atkins surveys the whole field, throws it out to Huntley, makes the man miss, and into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Aggies. You see Tony Nicholson there congratulating Jason Huntley. Goal line, it's a touchdown. It's been confirmed, and Dylan Brown's extra point is good. Well, we talked about Jason Huntley at the top, one of the best return men in the country. Get the ball to him in space, and he's finally able to get the Aggies on the board with the tighter up, 45-7. Last year, it's a kick that is going to be returned by Ruggs at the 10. That is up to the 30. We see Mac Jones for the first time here today for Alabama. Mac throwing behind Jerry Judy. We're able to do that. Second and 10. Hits this one in stride to Waddle. And it's a first down into New Mexico State territory. do for the Crimson Tide. Now sitting behind, of course, to a tongue of a As you straight ahead gets up near the 40 yard. The previous two seasons. At the coordinator spot, you want that consistency at quarterback. Avoiding three with Judy in motion. The handoff goes to Harris. He moves the chains inside the 35. So there's familiarity amongst those coaches. Dante Smith got him changing direction there. And it's first down. Running backs after Burns did such an amazing job. And the wide receiver coach has got to be smiling as Holman Wiggins watches Jerry Judy plow in the, for another touchdown. 20 in his career as Reichert makes it 52 to seven. Uh, Mac Jones, RPO action, stabs one in there to Jerry Judy, dances around a little bit just to make it interesting. And he's in the end zone again, 52 for the top. First time Jerry Judy's ever had a three touchdown game. This on the heels of 10 catches last week against the Duke Hawks. And Rakeem Boyd, a special player. Take nothing away from Scotty Phillips. Field in week one. That's encouraging. I think that they can push on it. I think they can build on it. Oh, maybe on Mitchell coughs up the football and it's recovered by the Crimson Tide as Josh Job has it. Since 2015. 96 of them. Three today. Big Phil Mathis coming in there to punch it out. And Patrick Sertan was in there too. How about that for a cover down from the big man? Cover down. Oh man, who do you give it to? Is it Mathis or Sertan? Like Mathis's left hand got he there was before the Sertan. Just for the effort. Can you, you share a forced it. fumble? Mac Jones incomplete. He's in there at tailback. He takes the handoff. Quick, Darian Dahlcourt on the offensive line, giving time for Jones, but Jones almost had that picked off by low nine nice. yards. And this one is straight through. He has found his stride now. As he had last year at Auburn against Georgia. Joe Burrow's a big game player, too. Last one against Sam Ellinger. The running. I think that's the difference from the LSU secondary's perspective. Takeaways. There's a lot of great Illegal players. shift, offense, number 16 and number nine were moving at the same time and did not re get reset for a full second. That penalty's declined, second down. Having to get up to the 35 yard line. Atkins lofts one up, but way too far. going to have a chance at this at the 35-yard line. It's so difficult to bring this guy to the ground. His legs never stop moving. He's out of bounds near the 41-yard line. So other teams other than Alabama that can contend. There's a personal foul call, and Keelan Robinson takes the handoff, and he's got daylight. 
See ya. 74 yards for the true freshman from DC. Two carries last week for five yards, and he comes the in the and celebration that he does on this run. Watch him. And I like this hole. Sticks that right foot in the ground. Daylight. Nice blocking up front. It's been a long game for New Mexico State. There have been some quick scores. He's been on the field. Last a lot. year he was kicking off for the tide. New Mexico State starts at the 25. Gibson is met at the line of Tuscaloosa for the home opener for the Crimson Tide. 62 to 7 lead over New Mexico. It's all Chad Morris have two options at the quarterback spot. That is a whistled is an incomplete. Chad Morris's offensive system. Slade Bolden gets a chance to return this punt. Reisler with a good one. It goes over his head. Roll dead inside the 10 yard line. Sixty. Last week. He had to run 20 minutes on the treadmill, and I'm starting to think, Taylor, that when Stinch is late to our meetings, mm. we enforce. Keelan Robinson, who had that 74-yard touchdown run, plows ahead for a couple of third down today. Right to Robinson, and throw it out there to Mechie, and Mechie's met in the backfield by SEC road openers. That is, when their first game of the conference slate is on the season. Won 15 in a row. O.J. Quell is Matt Romero now in at quarterback. And New Mexico State running down the field. That's Josh Foley, the running back with O.J. A lot of ground to gain, though, given what they've got coming to visit next week. In the last nine years, Saban will try to get his first win in williams Bryce Stadium. Ten NFL draft picks this past season, second only to the 2018 draft, and they had 12 guys taken. Just turning as if he inherited a full cover. Dylan Brown from 43, and it's 62 to 10 that are still on NFL rosters. Most of any program. Back to the studio. Let's get an update with Dari. He's got the old school logo too. Turnover. That's the magic. Five ways to win. Oh, boy. Oh, the career. Oh. It's made by Giles Amos, the senior. Fielded at the 33-yard line. Probably so in that week. running game, and they get it figured out. Guys, I think Holy. one of the more interesting questions. I'm sure too, that they can. Pete Golding and Nick Saban can afford those kind of injuries. This year as Romero runs past the 50-yard line. It's easy for that to happen. You, know, you flip into survival mode as a player and you revert back to old habits. They may be bad habits. You know, he He's been running hard as a backup tailback for New Mexico State. He deviated because Coach Saban had to leave for a dance recital for his granddaughter. Once again, Miss Terry influencing things right. and also evaluating whether or not he wanted to hire Pete Gold. Eli Anderson with the catch inside the Coach yeah. Saban watching right next to him. Yeah. He's ahead to the uh, head 16. coach, and of course, Kirby Smart. The head coach at the University of Georgia thought to be maybe the closest. 22 yards. Romero to the end zone, incomplete. Ferguson as well. The end around to Drew Dan. Dan is shoved out of bounds just shy of the goal line for the Aggies. Anderson is stoned at the two. What other things in mind? Romero. He's not going to get there. Daniel Davis makes a play right here. He bats the ball down from the quarterback. This redshirt freshman. Third and goal. Four seconds left. Romero too high. Ball game over. Alabama has won 84 straight versus unranked opponents. That is the longest streak 
in FBS history.